Hey there. Have you ever found yourself feeling stuck, unsure of where to start, or lacking motivation to take action? Don't worry, you're not alone. We've all been there at some point in our lives. But the good news is, there are ways to overcome this feeling and start moving forward. In this video, we'll be discussing, the art of starting, how to take action when you are feeling stuck. So, let's get started. The first step in taking action when you are feeling stuck is to identify the cause of your feelings. Is it fear, lack of confidence, or simply a lack of direction? Once you identify the cause, it will be easier to develop a plan to move forward. Fear is a common reason why many people feel stuck. Fear of failure, fear of the unknown, or fear of not being good enough can prevent us from taking action. However, it's important to remember that failure is a natural part of the learning process, and it's better to try and fail than to never try at all. Lack of confidence is another common cause of feeling stuck. It's important to recognize that everyone has insecurities, and it's okay to not have all the answers. Surround yourself with positive people who will encourage and support you as you take steps towards your goals. Sometimes, feeling stuck can simply be a result of not having a clear direction. Take time to reflect on your values, interests, and goals. What motivates you? What makes you happy? What do you want to achieve? Once you have a clear idea of what you want, it will be easier to develop a plan to get there. The next step in taking action is to break your goal down into smaller, more manageable tasks. This will make your goal less daunting and easier to tackle. Create a plan with specific action steps and deadlines, and hold yourself accountable to completing each task. Another important aspect of taking action is to prioritize your time and energy. Focus on the tasks that will have the most impact towards achieving your goal, and delegate or eliminate tasks that are not essential. Remember, it's okay to say no to things that don't align with your goals. Taking action also requires a mindset shift. Instead of focusing on the potential negatives or obstacles, focus on the positives and the potential rewards. Visualize yourself achieving your goal, and use positive affirmations to reinforce your belief in yourself and your abilities. Lastly, it's important to celebrate your progress along the way. Acknowledge and celebrate the small wins, and use them as motivation to continue taking action towards your goal. So, to summarize, the art of starting, how to take action when you are feeling stuck, it's important to identify the cause of your feelings, develop a plan, break your goal down into smaller tasks, prioritize your time and energy, shift your mindset to focus on the positives, and celebrate your progress along the way. Remember, taking action is not always easy, but it's necessary for growth and progress. Don't be afraid to take risks, make mistakes, and learn from them. Embrace the journey and trust in yourself and your abilities. And if you ever find yourself feeling stuck again, remember that it's okay to ask for help. Reach out to friends, family, or a professional for guidance and support. You don't have to go through it alone. So, let's recap the key takeaways from this video. Identify the cause of your feelings. Develop a plan with specific action steps and deadlines. Break your goal down into smaller, more manageable tasks. Prioritize your time and energy. Shift your mindset to focus on the positives. Celebrate your progress along the way. Embrace the journey and trust in yourself. Ask for help when needed. Taking action may be challenging at times, but it's worth it. It can lead to personal growth, improved confidence, and a sense of accomplishment. So, don't let fear, lack of confidence, or lack of direction hold you back. Start taking action towards your goals today. Thanks for watching, The Art of Starting, How to Take Action When You Are Feeling Stuck. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and insights. See you in the next video.